why has it gone all fuzzy? What's happened there? Is a buy-to-let limited company loan more like a regular buy-to-let mortgage contract or is it more like a commercial loan contract? And why does it matter? First off, these loans share some similarities with your typical buy-to-let mortgages. They're geared towards financing residential investment properties and lenders still care about the rental income. It's a big factor in determining the loan amount. But here's where it gets interesting. Limited company loans have a corporate twist, a bit like what you'd see with commercial loans. The underwriting criteria can be more robust, taking into account the financial health of the company. So why does it matter? Understanding the underwriting requirements is key. Limited company loans might have stricter criteria, so having your financial ducks in a row is crucial. Then there are the interest rates and fees. Limited company loans can resemble commercial financing in this regard. Knowing these costs up front helps you gauge the financial picture of your investment. And let's not forget the tax implications. The choice between an individual and a limited company structure comes with its own tax considerations, which can have a financial impact. Lastly, the legal stuff. The legal structure of your loan can affect liability and other legal aspects. And limited company loans may have different implications compared to individual mortgages. So whether you're exploring these loans for the first time or you're a seasoned investor, understanding whether it's more like a regular mortgage or commercial loan is crucial for making informed decisions about your investment. As always, it's a good idea to consult with a mortgage advisor such as myself who knows the ins and outs of limited company buy to let financing. Is it possible to get a limited company buy to let mortgage without having to provide a personal guarantee? Whilst it's not impossible, it's common for lenders to require a personal guarantee for limited company buy-to-let mortgages. A personal guarantee provides the lender with some assurance that in the event of a default by a limited company, the director or majority shareholders will be personally responsible for any outstanding debt. This is a standard practice among mainstream mortgage lenders to mitigate their risk. While there may be discussions and considerations around personal guarantees, it appears that most lenders in the market still require this additional security measure. Therefore, obtaining a limited company buy-to-let mortgage without a personal guarantee may be challenging. It's advisable to consult with specific lenders or a mortgage advisor for the most up-to-date information on this matter. Can you get a buy-to-let mortgage for a brand new limited company or will you need three years company accounts? It is possible to get a buy-to-let mortgage for a brand new limited company without having to provide three years of company accounts. <coughs> However, the criteria can vary among lenders. Some lenders may require a track record of profitability or other financial indicators, while others may be more flexible considering factors such as the financial strength of the company and the property's potential rental income. It's advisable to explore lenders who specialise in providing mortgages for limited companies and to seek advice from mortgage professionals to find out the most suitable options for your specific situation. How important is it to have a good clean credit history when applying for a buy-to-let mortgage? Having a good clean credit history is crucial when applying for a buy-to-let mortgage. Lenders assess your credit worthiness to determine the risk of lending to you. A positive credit history demonstrates financial responsibility and reliability, increasing your chances of securing favourable terms and lower interest rates. A clean credit history signals to lenders that you're a low-risk borrower, which is especially important in the buy-to-let market. Since buy-to-let properties are considered investments, lenders may be more stringent in their criteria. A good credit history enhances your credibility and showcases your ability to manage financial commitments. While it's still possible to obtain a buy-to-let mortgage with a less than perfect credit history, it may limit your options and you might face higher interest rates. Some specialised lenders cater to individuals with bad credit, but the terms may not be as favourable. To maximise your chances of approval on secure favourable terms, maintaining a good credit history by paying bills on time and managing debts responsibly is essential. 